Hello and welcome to a new video review, this time about the Arken Optics EP5 5x25x56. Arken Optics is a pretty new company which was founded at 2019 in Texas, USA. And the promise from Arken is that they deliver best possible quality of rifle scopes made from best materials, but for a reasonable or affordable price. Now this model, the EP5, features a 5x zoom factor magnification, which goes from 5 to 25 and it features a 56mm objective lens. The price is approximately 960 euro, 10 years warranty. The scope is made in China. The scope features 34mm main tube, features Japanese glass, so it has very good optic, optical quality. The scope is nitrogen purged, which means you can use the scope also in very cold environment and it will not start to fog internally uh, due to condensation. And as you can see, it is completely made out of metal. It is also waterproof and shockproof up to 50 BMG. The construction, it is quite short with 355 millimeters compared to similar rifle scopes with the, with the same magnification it is shorter than most of these but it weighs approximately 1100 grams which is quite heavy the objective diameter is 66 millimeters this is an important measurement for let's say hunters or users that want to mount a night vision or therm thermal attachment to the scope. Now this scope features a fast focus eyepiece which is very fine adjustable and it is very smooth. Then the magnification ring, also this one features, uh, we, is also very smooth and it goes from the smallest to the biggest magnification in 180 degree turn. From Arken there is also a throw lever which can be easily installed for easier operation of the magnification ring. So the tube is 34 millimeters and it features a reticle positioned in the first focal plane. The scope is available in mil or MOA and depending which model you choose the reticle comes either in mil or MOA. It's the same as the clicks on the turret. The reticle name is VPR, which is a Christmas tree style reticle. And this reticle uh, has also illumination. And illuminated is only the middle part with the small dot in the middle, which is only 0.04 mil. So it is very small for very precise shots and one mil all around the middle dot is also illuminated. The illumination can be adjusted with this turret. It has six intensity setting settings and between each intensity setting there is an off position in between. The illumination is not daytime bright so it is usable all, all, uh, only for low light conditions. On the same turret is the battery compartment for a 
2032 battery. And this same turret features also the parallax adjustment. I have to say the parallax adjustment on this scope is perfect. It is very easy adjustable, there is much space in between. So you can really easily find the perfect spot for the perfect parallax adjustment. Because most scopes or most scopes in this price range feature parallax up to about two, three hundred meters or yards and up, uh, up then it is not much space anymore but on this scope it is really really great. Now the parallax goes from 25 yards all the way to infinity and as I said from my test the parallax is really really easy to adjust and very good or nicely made. Now the turrets. Uh, I have to say the clicks on these turrets are some of the best on the market. Even if you compare the clicks to much more expensive rifle scopes. Maybe you can hear but So, as you can hear, the clicks are very tactile and they have great feel to it. So, it is very easy to count every click. The clicks are, are in milliradian. So, one click at 100 meters is at exactly one centimeter. The elevation range, the total elevation range of this scope is 32 mil and in one revolution you can make exactly 10 mil of elevation. The turret is a multi-turn turret and you have multiple turns for adjustment. The Turret has no turn indicator except for this line, if you can see. But it features a really nice and easy to adjust zero stop. So it stays perfectly, stops perfectly at zero. The turrets are very easy to zero. You just have to unscrew these three screws, turn the turret back to zero and screw them back inside. When you're done you just go two clicks up and then you can adjust the zero stop. You screw gently the screw inside till it stops and then a quarter of rotation back and secure it with this screw here. Like this your zero stop is also already set. Now the vintage turret. Also the clicks on the vintage turret are great. They have a really really premium feel and you in each direction you have Feel 5 mil of adjustment. Also the vintage turret is a multi-turn turret so you can go even further. The zeroing is the same as on the elevation turret and the vintage turret features 16 mil of total travel. Clicks and the reticle are both in mil, so this is a true mil-mil technical rifle scope. 
and you can use the reticle for looking for your corrections and adjust it the same as you read it in the reticle with the turret. Optically, I have to say for about 960 euros, the scope is very, very good. It's very crisp. Uh, the edges are also very good. They are not blurry and the reticle is very, very usable. Magnification, as I said, is 5 to 25. And because of the 56 millimeters objective lens, the image is also very bright. So you can use the scope also in lower light conditions. Now the field of view at five times magnification, it's 8.5, no, 8.4 meters, I think at 100 meters, which is quite a lot for five times magnification. So it's more than some of the more expensive rifle scopes have. And on the 25 times magnification, the field of view is 1.63 meters at 100 meters. It has no tunneling effect whatsoever. And the eye relief is 86 millimeters. The eye box, I have to say, is also very, very good and is very easy to stay on target or behind the reticle through the entire magnification range. What I also noticed and I forgot to mention before is this part here, including the part where the retention spring is, it sticks uh, very much out of the main tube. Now, this is important for you because you have to purchase mounts which are higher than this part sticking out. Now, for rings, it's normally not a big issue because the part where the retention spring is goes out on the side. But for monoblock mounts, you also have to take into account that this part can uh, bottom out on the middle section of the mount before the main tube. I have here a mount from tier 1 which with which I can show you that here is this monobook mount and what I can show you here is I hope you can see that even though there is a lot of space but because this is sticking very much out, it can happen that it stays uh, on the mount. Especially if you have a wider mount, let's say like a Spur mount, which is has the same dimension through the entire base. This part would be in a way that you cannot mount. Now, What I measured is this part is sticking out around 5.5 millimeters and this one additional 5.5 millimeters. So all in all, you would need at least 11 millimeters of space in between uh, for proper mounting on a monoblock mount. Okay, so what do you get in the box? on owner's manual bikini scope covers which are really nicely made but I would prefer flip up covers then a sunshade some stickers and a zeroing tool with the cleaning cloth
And now for a short summary. What do I like about this scope? It's first of all the overall build quality. It's exceptionally good for this price point. The parts are completely made out of metal. Then optical. It's very very good optical clarity. The color accuracy is also very very good. And then the reticle which is very crisp at all magnifications. Then the build length. It is shorter than similar scopes from other brands. The parallax adjustment is very very nicely made. I really like this type of uh, parallax. And lastly, the turrets. I really enjoyed using the scope and the turrets are just perfect. Then the clicks are audible, they are very tactile and very easy to operate. Zeroing and zero stop adjusting is also very easy and all this for about 960 euros. Now where do I see room for improvements? First of all is the weight because it's very heavy with about 1100 grams. Then the lack of a turn indicator because you have only these lines which are not very visible especially if you mount the scope with a 20 MOA rail then the turrets, turret goes even further down and you don't see the lines. The turrets do not have a locking function even though with this clicks with the strong clicks it's not really needed and lastly this bottom part because it sticks so much out especially this retention spring cover okay this was a short video review of the arcan optics ep5 5 to 25 by 56 if you have any additional questions click the link below and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe thanks for watching